Good afternoon, everyone, and good, uh, good morning to those who are in the morning as well. Uh, welcome to the second day's sessions and uh, to this webinar. And we have uh, session three today. It will cover principle of communication in the context of zoonosis. And the session four will, uh, will be on implementing joint uh, risk communication strategies. So we have on high level panel, uh, we have uh, three speakers that will introduce today, that will uh, give the opening uh, remark. And uh, the first uh, will be Dr. Uh, Raj, Raj Tajid, Tajidun, Rajid Tajidun. And the second will be uh, Mr. Scott Kyosi and uh, myself. I will act on behalf of uh, Dr. Bailo uh, Jalo, the hub coordinator. And I'm Tibli Traore, technical officer in charge of One Health activities in WHO African region. I work in the uh, uh, preparedness and response uh, uh, cluster. So that's it, the emergency uh, preparedness and response cluster based in Dakar. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, without a delay, I will give the floor to Dr. Raji Tashuddin from Africa Center for Disease Control. And he is the coordinator of uh, to establish and strengthening national public health institute across the region, across the 55 member states. You all know about that. So to know more about uh, his work and his dedication as well, and uh, you can check the website and uh, Africa CDC website, or you will see in the chat box some uh, uh, really some achievement and what he's doing. And then the next one will be Mr. Scott, Yoshi, who is a, a research analyst at Chatham House, working on One Health and Health Security project. Uh, his background, he got really very rich uh, background in infectious disease and One Health approach. Then uh, myself. Okay, over to you. Dr. Rajit Tajuddin, please. Hi, Tibre. Um, sadly, uh, Taj has not joined, so I might start first and then uh, let's see if he joins uh, in a couple of minutes, uh, if that's okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so, hello, everyone. Okay. So, I'll speak on behalf of Chatham House. Um, just, uh, I don't want to repeat what uh, Osman said yesterday, but I just wanted to emphasize that, yeah, this is our fourth workshop and we have received a lot of positive feedback uh, from you um, for these past three workshops, as well as from yesterday's in the chat. So, we're really happy to hear that this has been very useful for you. Um, uh, Saladi, this is going to be the last workshop of this year. Uh, but hopefully we can go uh, ahead and organize more workshops through this partnership with uh, TJHN, Africa CDC, and the Quadripartite um, in, in uh, the next year. Um, so as, as Tiebla mentioned today, we have uh, the important topic of risk communication. And as speakers mentioned yesterday, risk assessment is not useful if its outcomes are not communicate to, communicated to the relevant stakeholders and affected populations. So as you know, if there's lack of collaboration between sectors when communic communicating about risks, this may lead to the delivery of inconsistent um, information and messaging to the public. And this can result in uncertainty, misinformation, and also act as a barrier, for instance, in the adoption of uh, prevention strategies and practices. Um, so today we have, uh, you know, some really good speakers who will present uh, their experience uh, and also uh, share best practices on how to communicate about risks during uh, zoonosis outbreaks. And I thank you all for joining and a big thank you also for all the speakers uh, for supporting us in uh, delivering this workshop. Back to you, Diabla. Uh, this is very good. Uh, well, welcome, uh, Remark. Uh, is uh, Dr. Raji is with us, Tajuddin? Is he not in yet? No, so you can go ahead. Okay, uh, I will go again, uh, uh, ahead and I will be very brief so we can uh, save time and to go ahead with uh, the presentation. As uh, Scott just mentioned, uh, yesterday we covered uh, the principle of risk assessment and it is the implementation. You have seen the different tools and these tools are used uh, 
across the region to support the preparedness and response as well. As you know, the risk assessment is conducted at all level and it is crucial in terms of preparedness. And especially when you look at the rapid response team, uh, a training risk assessment is key in, in it. And it, it involves different sectors. And that's why we are here today to benefit from the experts around the world. So at the end of this workshop, we know what we need to do and what expertise uh, is required to conduct an effective risk assessment and which will lead to a great risk uh, management as well. Then, but both those two components cannot be accomplished without the uh, risk communication. And today we will cover that uh, part with experts on board and to learn from them and to be able to address that issue. And it is crucial because it is not a standalone component itself. It, it, the, this risk assessment, risk management, risk communication, these are like one, uh, one glove and it is one component. Even thought it is, it seem to be uh, uh, disaggregated, but in reality, no. They all act together because communication can be used uh, again, as a management tool, I have said that yesterday, and we really we are pleased to be associated to this great workshop, and and uh, we look forward to conducting more workshop with you. Even though Scott just mentioned it is the last, I I think we we can continue prepare uh, start the preparation for next year. And uh, again, on behalf of Dr. Bailo, the hub coordinator for emergency and preparedness and response uh, in Dakar who uh, let me uh, speak on his behalf and uh, regional director for emergency as well. And thank you again and welcome. And I hope you will enjoy uh, the sessions.